Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nolan. This is episode one, meaning my first video. Attempting to make a, it's gonna be like one of those jointed rapala, rapala lures. Um, yeah, let's get to work. And this is the wood that we're gonna be using. It's pine, and I don't have a bandsaw, so how I go about getting my sign out is I take a knife and you just carve to that to this line like done here you don't need to see this whole process so okay and I have officially carved this all out now I'm going to work on the top profile is actually this is thin I might need to cut that out but so your thickest point, you need to draw that out. So for me, it's just going to be about that. I'm just going to kind of rough as thick as you want it there, and kind of just draw a line. And then I'll do a similar thing. And carve to those lines. Okay. And that left us, so this is the top, side, belly, and now, this time, actually I should probably cut out a lip. This is going to have a lip, by the way. Um, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to round off the bait right now. And you do that, by taking your sharp knife, making sure to take the highest point downward, and just carving. It's pretty obvious how, how this works, but some people draw out um, draw out lines, but I'm not that fancy. Just carve down, and I want this, this to be very round because if, if you look at the Rapala Rapala, not sure how to say that version. I'm trying by the way, I'm like this. It's very round. Let me try to make that. Awesome base, by the way. Rapala is awesome. Rapala. might have done it off camera. I'll have to go back and check, but uh, I forgot to show some sanding. But here, we definitely need some sanding. Okay, and after quite a bit of sanding, I'm left with that looking pretty good now I'm going to cut the lip slot slot sorry I can't speak today at all now I'm going to take my Rapala version and I'll get the correct lip angle mine's a little thinner I will be cutting this lip out with this. Got it off Amazon. Really sharp, really nice. Eat you. Over there. Here we go. Don't know if there's a way that I can do this where you can see. Okay, I think that'll have to work. Okay. 
now I'm going to come back through with a hacksaw. Okay, back. So, I just cut this little piece of something out. I wish I could tell you what kind of uh, material this is or where I got it. The answer where I got it is some random piece of a lid of something in my bedroom. So, it's nothing special. I'm trying to get something like Lex and Polycarbonate out here, but this kind of works, I guess. So, actually, that's. It's looking pretty okay. I'm going to list off what I still need to do. I need to cut the joint. I need to make line ties hook hangers and put my weight in it. And seal the wood. And then we're on to testing. Okay. I think I am going to do a tiny bit more. Okay, so that's where the joint's going to be. Tried to make that very... Just went around with a pencil. And I don't think I'm actually even going to use the vise. I'm just going to... Take the saw to it like this. I'm gonna take my time and be very slow. This is nerve wracking. And it's done. It's okay. It's a tiny bit off, but that can come out in sanding. It's okay. So now, actually, I don't think this is necessary. Actually, I'm going to sand over it first. What I was going to do is take my knife and, as you can see on here, it's very rounded. So I'm going to get that effect on there and where'd my sandpaper go? First, I'm going to put this knife back. Sandpaper. Now, if I haven't already, here's my chance to make this very... Actually, I'm not even going to use a knife when I do that. I'm just going to... Oh yeah, that, that, that works. Let's do that. Wow, this is some rough sandpaper. I think it's 80 grit. It's pretty good. Gotta do that to the tail end and call that good already. It was a lot faster than I thought. Yeah, I'm gonna call that good. Now, where's the top and where's the bottom on this tail? Okay, the bottom. Okay, and time for that. That actually worked out very well. What stuff am I on already? I already am drilling out the, the holes. And you do that with a drill. 
No, really? I like to take a nail and poke where I want it to go so it's centered for the most part. You don't have to, it just helps keep the drill on the target. I think I want to hook there. I'm going to do one here. One here. And one there. Done. Now we can do this bit. This is where we're at. That's what I got. I like it. It's pretty new, so. Let me wire gutters. Now, how this goes, you get yourself some pieces. So, this will be line tie. pieces. Oh, by the way, you probably don't know this yet because you don't know much about me, but I was inspired by a particular someone that I hope to get to their level. Anyway, their channel is Marling Bates. Check him out if you haven't already. And, uh, Kind of you over there again. Where? Oh, yeah, over there. Now how this bit goes is you take, take your wire, you kind of bend it in half to the best of your ability. So that is our connection. Okay, so I just finished that and did not glue those in yet, but that's what we're working with. Now I'm going to work on the uh, weight, which is next step. Okay, so I have a Dremel at will, but I'm just going to use this little tool and carve around these little non-lead sinkers. I'm actually going to split this in half because I want this to float. And once I carve out the hole, I set that in there. I'm going to show you how I seal that over. Um, I'm actually going to turn off the camera while I carve those spots out so see you then okay so what I did was I carved that out and I hammered that in there and now what I do is I take baking soda and super glue plus equal rock hard solution perfect for lure making take baking soda put it on that and okay and take your super glue a couple drops. Did that. It's pretty good. Now I'm going to work on carving it on this side. See that? Okay, and I repeated the same process there. Now it is time to seal the wood. And you do that with super glue. Put a little dab on there and spread it around with your finger. Okay, so I did something kind of stupid. I just fully glued this together once I sealed it. I mean, that's okay. The only problem is when I'm clear coating it, I'll just be careful to dip just there and dip. I'll dip the lip in, that's okay though. But I guess we're ready to test and then paint. See what the testing bathtub place. See there. And here we are at the official testing tub with the official testing rod. Let's see. It floats. Oh, it's cute. It's nice. Look at that. 
Okay, so a lot all I'm going to be painting, the little compressor over there is going to pop on, so just be aware. Um, these are the colors I'm going to be using, a blue, a yellow, an orange, a white, a black, and a red. And after I tested that, it works pretty good. Okay, so the compressor just turned off. I just want you to know, this airbrush is very new to me. Uh, I've only done a couple things with it, so I'm not in any way even close to any mass. Okay, got that lip tape taped off, and I'm starting with white. Okay, white is pretty much done. And let that dry. Blue then. Okay, now I'm moving on to an orange belly. where we are so far. The next color is yellow. I forgot to sand down the super glue nice and smooth, so it's going to make my paint job look really rough and messy, but that's okay. Okay, so I just got my blue on there. Looks kind of. You gotta get the black on top, some red on the head. I'm gonna do my gills. Should try a gill pattern on this one. So, you should cut out your little stencil. There's the other side. So what I just did was I went back over with some white. Okay, sorry, that was a bit of a jump, but here we are. That goes right up the head, sorry. 
orange going into yellow, into blue, into black. Got some gills. And that's just about it. Might go back and do some little stuff. I think I'm going to give it some polka dots, so it, I don't know. Okay, and here is one of the final steps. There it is with the spots, by the way, and the... Oh no, there's a paint chip. Darn it. Can fix that. Okay, got that paint chip fixed, and I'm ready to do the eye. And there it is with an eye. Chances of catch anything, catching anything are really low. Fish just don't bite this one. Anyway. Well, as you just saw, that was a relatively eventful video, but it kind of worked out, I guess to the testing pond and we actually caught a fish but uh, when we took pictures and had a release turns out it wasn't actually recording the camera so it, it wasn't very good anyway it was probably like eight inches That was my first video, so it's not going to be my best. Hopefully not my last, I don't know. Oh, editing, ugh. Um, I'm going to try to produce more content and possibly better. But, you know, that's, that's hard stuff. Anyway, stay tuned.